I spent 60 minutes to try and set up Web Studio. Now, if you wonder why I want to do that, because you're the WordPress guy, it is because of things happening in the WordPress space that I really don't like. I don't know what the future of the WordPress space will hold. And if you don't know what the thing is happening in WordPress space, well, there's a lot of information you can find online. It, it doesn't make me feel very confident that Mullenweg and the way things are heading right now. So I hope that it will change in 25 so I get more confidence in solely creating WordPress. But in the meantime, I want to look at different kind of systems that can help me create websites in the workflow that I like to use. And one of those systems is Web Studio. Now, if you're wondering what is Web Studio, it's a custom frontend without custom codes. So it's a drag and drop page builder, so to speak, or as they say it, an open source website builder. It allows you to create and maintain websites faster and easier uh, than doing it by code, which is also my experience when using Bricks Builder or something like Elementor, Cadence Greenshift, or never use Breakdance, but I guess it is quite the same. The big difference, as noted by Web Studio uh, during my live stream, thank you by the way for joining, is that the system itself and the front end is disconnected. While in WordPress they are connected so they can interact with each other and try to get all the information directly from the database, Web Studio is disconnected, which means that you can run your website on one server and run your information on the other server. If we look directly at the interface, we see that you have stylings that are similar to what we are used to in Bricks Builder and you have your structure or navigator and you have a plus icon where you can add blocks on the page builder. Now, in their intro, they're saying that it's open source website builder. So I wanted to know how open source is it? Is it ready to be used by a person like me who is a little bit tech savvy, but not very and I'm more like a in between design and development. And if you go to pricing and then self host your host, you can run the builder itself. It is open source, so you can see the code, but running locally can be a hassle. And that's also what I discovered during my experimentation on my live stream. When you go into the documentation, it's even a little bit more hidden away. But when you get there, you see how you can set it up. You have to install VS Code, Docker, run some comments, and then it should be running. In our case, it didn't work, unfortunately. This has to do quite possibly with my Windows setup or something that they have and I don't. Uh, they are using macOS. Whilst they try to help out during live stream to get me set up with the builder, in 60 minutes, I couldn't get it to work. That's what it is, right? At this current point in time, People are not able to set this up very quickly. I do have a recommendation and I also said this during my live stream. Perhaps Web Studio could work together with hosting companies or something like Coolify that allows you to one click install all kinds of nice services one in one click like active pieces or directors, WordPress or even Drupal, whatever you like. Even an 8N. So Having Web Studio as a part of this system would be very nice that people can have a one click setup if they're willing to use Web Studio uh, Builder. Now, and during my live stream, they try to help out getting me set up, but we did, couldn't get it set up properly. So um, hopefully this will change in the future because I really am hoping that Web Studio can make these steps kind of easier. And setting up is one of the most important things that people want to do with their website, right? They want to be able to not only set up, but also install uh, the web builder. And they are willing to help out. So it's a very nice experience. I'm going to follow Web Studio and see how this will go. And next week, we'll try to take a look at the Web Studio builder inside of the Web Studio website itself, because there it is set up properly and you can just test it out and see how it works. So if you want to see more about Web Studio, don't be afraid and just join in next week. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these kinds of videos and uh, tell me, did you like the live stream? If you haven't watched it, you can watch it right there. And as always, keep designing.